emotional intelligence and understanding your own emotions and the emotions of others is a big part of interpersonal relationships, which as a person in um, kind of a forward facing role within this company, like I need to be able to talk to people. And a big part of that is emotional intelligence, uh, emotional intelligence. I would love to hear more about ways that we can apply this to things like talks and events. I think in your first answer, you had a thing that was like, whether it's one person or a thousand, it's important to put yourself in your audience's shoes. So I would love some advice for that because I know there's lots of people at this company that give lightning talks or event talks that this could be really useful for. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I think it's a great question. So whenever I'm giving a presentation or a talk of any kind, I think about there being, you know, I think about the house being the presentation that I want to build. And then I think about the foundation of that house in three ways. So the three elements of your foundation are your audience, your content, and you as a speaker. So if we think about each one of those things kind of one, one at a time. So your audience, first of all, is, is what we've been talking about. It's thinking, okay, who, who comprises this audience? Is it a very technical audience? Is it a not very technical audience? You know, what uh, sector industry are they from? But then also what else have they been doing today? You know, are you at a conference and you're the last slot of the day? Um, or is it, you know, the first thing in the morning and maybe people aren't totally awake yet, or, you know, maybe you lucked out and you got the best slot, but having that context and that awareness, I think. Um, and then thinking, you know, what is it, why are they showing up? What is it that they want to learn from you? So doing like a, honestly, a mind dump of like everything that you know about this audience and writing it down and having it kind of framed somewhere. So that's the first thing. The second thing is from there, you can say, okay, my content is this, you know, you, you probably have a subject line or a title of some sort um, that you are a topic that you're kind of going to be speaking about and thinking about, okay, what is everything that I know about this topic? Let me get everything out there that maybe I would want to send or say, and then doing a matching process almost and saying, how can I get this content to line up with what I know about my audience? And that's how I structure every presentation to make sure that what I'm saying is really gonna resonate. A, a good you know, additional tip on that front is to think, what, how can I make this, how can I frame this in an interesting way? What is the key problem or aha moment that I can share with this audience and how can I deliver them a solution or a tangible take home, right? So, you know, there's there's tons of examples out there, but I think framing it that way is, is really, really helpful. And then the third element of the foundations is you yourself as the speaker. And this is intentionally third, because in my opinion, it's the least important. But the fact is, you know, you are, you are, you are merely a vehicle for your message. That's how I view being a speaker. You are in service to your audience when you're up there, you're being generous with your knowledge, you're, you're, you've done the process of matching what you know to what you think they need to know and how they feel. And you are merely just the vehicle for that message. But at the same time, generally, when you're up there and you're giving a presentation of some sort, that's an impactful moment for you. First of all, it's kind of scary. You know, I, I, I do a lot of this stuff and I still get nervous when I go up and do these things. But second of all, it's probably of some significance that you have a captive audience and that they're going to know who you are and you're considered an expert in some way. And so thinking about how do I want to come across? How can I bring to bear the best parts of myself? How can I show up as the leader, the thought leader, the motivator, whatever it is that I want to be? And I will sit down and say like, okay, these are, this is what I want people to think of me and not in an inauthentic way, right? Because I think the worst thing you can do is get up and try to be someone that you're not, but thinking about how can I dial up those parts of me to make sure that I'm showing up in an authentic and, you know, sort of saturated way. Um, and so, yeah, when you're a speaker, it, that's your job too, is to, is to represent yourself in the best way that you can.